Welcome back. Our political analyst, Mr. Chester Missing, is in studio today to discuss the drama in Parliament. Welcome, Mr. Missing. I hear now you have a PhD. Hmm? Did you get the PhD at the same place Paolo Jordan got his PhD? What? Oh, come on. You know, I mean, seriously, we haven't seen each other all this time. That's the first thing you go for. Why is everyone going nuts about education these days, Gola? Seriously, how does the SABC fire 16 generations actors who have matrix but keep the COO who doesn't? I mean, yes. it's like the only person at the SABC who hasn't lied about their qualifications is DJ Fresh. <laughs> yes, because it's from Boston Media. Boom! Boston Media. Anyway, anyway, what's happening in Parliament? Are you worried about what the EFF is doing in Parliament? The chaos they are causing? No, not at all. Not at all. Because let's be honest, this whole politics thing, this whole thing has just worked out that if Julius doesn't make it in politics, he's got just the right skills to work in the Mr. Price call center. Pay back the money! Pay back the money! Pay back the money! Mr. Missing, surely the EFF is putting the president in a very difficult position. Yes, they are, Luiso. I mean, I completely agree. This left a lot of white people very, very confused over who to hate. Uh, you know, white people need some guidance these days, Loisa. I mean, look at Steve Hoffman. Look at Steve Hoffman. That guy thinks the earthquake we just had was actually targeting white farmers. I mean, <laughs> did you see? He went to Australia and he sang this stem. For he, real. Yeah, I saw that. He's a crazy guy. Yes, luckily he didn't sing one of his own songs because then the world would truly judge us. I mean, I myself think we should cancel this stem part of the anthem. I mean, the only thing worse than oppressing people for hundreds of years is doing that and then forcing them to sing your apartheid song afterwards. Uh, Mr. Missing, those kind of statements are very divisive. They are dividing the country in half, even got us. Yes, I am in the media. That is actually my job. I mean, the media in South Africa give more attention to the rats living in Alexandria than they do to the actual people living there. But the rats are bigger. Yeah, they're huge. If they could talk, they would wear suits and report on late night news. They're bigger than I am. They're even bigger than your freaking eyebrows. Yeah. That's what the DA don't get. The DA is getting so little media attention. Helen Zilla is either going to have to get Alexander Rats to wear DA t-shirts <laughs> or, she, or she's going to have to send Moosey my money to Parliament in blue overalls. But that will look very apart. But what if the uh, spy tapes prove that there was political interference? Yes, but now he is the president. He is in charge. How can he have political interference against himself? I mean, do they suspect his own head as factions? And that wasn't a joke about the shape of his head, by the way. But surely the most honest thing to do for the president is to go to court to clear his name. Yes, but the president is being protected by people like Balek and Bete and the MPA's Noam Klobo Jiba, who have more puppet tendencies than the entire cast of Takalani Sesame combined. You. I mean, yes, yes, you, I understand, and your eyebrows. But I mean, who's to blame for all these scandals? Seriously, someone leaked to Lou Madonsela's letter Someone approved of the Gupta Vatiklou of Air Force Base landing. Someone allowed in Kandla. I mean, at this rate, we're going to need a minister of scapegoats. What you're saying is that the EFF is doing the right thing by interrupting parliament. Well, the truth is, the NCA is stonewalling all debate. But then again, Julius Malema has more white people controlling him than I do. What do you mean Julius Malema is controlled by white people? Yeah, their names are Louis Vuitton, Breitling, Johnny Walker. Boom! In your face! Yeah, also, you are also being controlled by a white person in Chester, Missing. Says a guy on ENCA. Boom! Bah! Bah! News that moves. ENCA.com.